Hi, this is Chris from Easy Dairy. This week we're going to look at the fertility reporting tool in Easy Dairy. This is a fantastic tool that examines the last few years of your mating history and gives reports on high and low fertility cows. It is designed to help you get the most out of your sex semen by listing your high fertility cows. This reduces the risk of wasting sex semen as these cows are most likely to get in calf quickly. Alternatively, the low fertility report can assist with culling decisions by listing the cows that are difficult to get in calf each year. To get to the fertility tool, click on the calendar button up top, then select the third option, fertility. In here, there are some options for allowing you to modify the report to suit your needs. Let's just jump right in and press the generate button. We will then delve into the options in more detail. Easy Dairy has quickly examined the history of all currently unjoined cows, calculated the number of matings from previous years and displayed the results. The first cow on the list is 1371. Her last coming was on the 11th of January 2019 and she only required one joining that season. Her previous calving was on the 17th of January 2018 and she had two joinings that season. This gives her a fertility percentage of 67% for the past two years, meaning that she's had two carvings from three joinings. Cow 1450 became pregnant on her first joining each year, giving her a perfect score of 100% for fertility. Two carvings from two joinings over the past couple of years. Looking further down the list, we can see young cows that have only had one or two years of history so far. Let's take a look at the options at the top. First, we have our planned mating start date. This defaults to today, but can also be altered to a future date if needed. Below that is our minimum days after calving at mating start date. This allows us to exclude cows that have only recently calved. Next, we have our minimum and maximum ages. This allows us to exclude cows that are either too young or too old from the report. Let's exclude cows over six years of age by changing the max age. The report has changed to reflect this new criteria by dropping out the cows that are over six years of age. Next, we have options to change the number of allowable matings each year. Let's increase the max number of matings for two years ago to be three. This has now added cow 2244 to our report. She has still had two carvings from four joinings, one carving from three joinings two years ago, and one carving from one joining last year. By increasing the minimum fertility percentage to 60%, we reduce the list to only those that have had two carvings from three joinings or less. Finally, we have options to exclude induced cows and cows that have had treatments since their last carving. Over on the left, we have our usual set columns and print buttons. These allow us to add extra information to the report and print it. For further information on using the set columns and print buttons, check out the easy report building video on the training page of our website. That wraps up the Sex Semen Candidates tool in Easy Dairy. Now let's switch over to the low fertility section of the tool by clicking on the low fertility cows button at the top. Our report has changed and now displays the currently unjoined cows that have difficulty getting in calf each year. We have two cows listed. Cow 1203 required four matings last year and five matings the year before whereas cow 1810 had five matings last year and four matings a year before. That concludes this week's training video. I hope you found it useful and informative. If you like this video, have any comments, questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Also, don't forget to check out our other training videos by following the links on screen or watch them all on our website. Thank you for watching.